Hi there. Today I'm going to be taking a quick look at some Mr. Potato Head licensed Star Wars keyrings. Now these have been produced by Hasbro as an officially licensed product and there's, um, there's actually quite a little bit to see. Um, as these are quite small and um, what I'm going to say about them is fairly universal other than the uh, character details, I'm going to cover all five in a single video. We also have a Stormtrooper one but they've all been very popular and they've all shot off to a good home already. But let's take a look at these five. So all of these um, keyrings do come with, well, almost identical packaging, just a little tab at the top, 5 Plus, obviously licensed by uh, Disney since the acquisition. Darth Vader, not really anything to see. A little plug for the uh, Star Wars website, but we can largely ignore that. The keyring itself, it's like basic kind of design with the um, clip there rather than a um, pull down one. Rotates at the midpoint there to stop the chain getting tangled, which I, I always appreciate in a decent keyring. Now the figure in keyring itself is based largely on the full size Mr. Potato Heads you may have seen. They do like a, the whole range for most of the main uh, Star Wars characters. And as a result uh, of it being a keyring, the, all the pieces are, are stuck on there. This is fully molded. There's nothing that can really come off. And it has a, a decent amount of detail on there. Um, all of the characters that have lightsabers have a little plastic tube. It's not just a really bad design. That's protective packaging for that in there. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to fare in a pocket, but as you can see, it's got a bit of give to there. It's not going to snap. Um, but despite the fact it's such malleable plastic, the um, the lightsaber has remained almost entirely straight. You can hopefully see there. It's the same on a uh, Yoda. We'll take a look at in a second. Uh, the Darth Vader character design, as you see, there's a lot of detail around the face mask and eyes. Lots of detail around here. Um, if the detail isn't painted, it's it's certainly moulded on there. See, very decent. Um, you're kind of missing the uh, iconic chest panel on Darth there, but it's more than forgiven for a, a character like this. Now, this is one of the few Mr. Potato Head characters where they haven't got the iconic white gloves. They've got a... Um, a dark glove on there. If you've seen my other video for the uh, the Marvel versions of these keyrings, they've almost all exclusively got the white gloves. So I figure that's probably worth mentioning. Um, if we turn around, it's a little bit in lacking in detail on the back. The cape is pretty much flat or smooth, um, with the exception of the um, trademarks etc. on here. Uh, these came out on the mouldings uh, 2014, so these are a couple years old now. And um, to be honest, there isn't, isn't much to see other than that. So let's move on to, um, to Yoda. Now, um, some characters do lend themselves better to um, Mr. Potato Head likenesses than others. And to me, Yoda's one of the, the weakest ones they've done. Um, I'm not sure if it's a legal requirement or what, but the, uh, the kind of Mr. Potato Head skin colouring seems prevalent even on characters like Yoda, where it's not particularly relevant to have it on there. Um, now whilst that makes sense for the, the large figures where you'd be taking bits off and mixing them around, really quite a jarring design having the um, fairly horrifying face bits popped onto onto that there. Would have been nice if they could have seen past it and made him entirely green. I'm sure more people are a fan of seeing Yoda as he is than a, a fans of the uh, Mr. Potato Head design. But it's quite a minor quibble if you're a, if you're a fan I'm sure. Be all over that. Um, like Darth Vader, lacking in the gloves. He's got Yoda's alien kind of hand designs there with the nails, which is very, very nice. Um, the protector on the um, lightsaber again, get rid of that. You can see it's a similar design on the lightsaber, a little bit different. Obviously different color crystal uh, creating the uh, lightsaber. A nice detail on his face. And the ears. I haven't actually taken a look at the full size figure myself, but I'm assuming this is a whole head bit that clips together. Wrinkles and stuff up there. Little tufts of hair. See, the cloak's got, unlike the Darth Vader one, the cloak's got some ruffles and stuff and a hood on there. Overall, very nice. You can see he's um, even a little bit of detail on the trousers and belt there. And, um,. Overall, the, the paint on these is, is absolutely spot on. Um, there are a few little minor things. You can probably see a little bit of green paint's kind of bled onto the skin tone there. But nothing that's going to be noticed in your pocket. 
but that's Yoda. Let's, um, let's take a look at Leia now. Now the Leia figure is a very decent representation of the character. Uh, I'm sure Carrie Fisher would have been happy with this, despite it uh, not particularly flattering, but if you're an anamorphic potato, what do you expect? Um, we've got feminine eyes and eyelashes on there. Kind of the more traditional Mr. and Miss Potato Head nose and, and mouth. But as you can hopefully see, the hair design of the, the iconic hairdo from Star Wars is present. And I think that is a pretty decent job. Very happy with that. And um, where this character really shines, I like her outfit. See the, uh, the detail, silver on the uh, full outfit there, Princess Garb. And um, done a decent job reproducing the, the blaster there as well. You can hopefully see. And despite the fact this is a key ring, the, the limbs do, do kind of protrude, but I really don't see any of the moulding or design being a being a problem and handling over time. I think that will wear very nicely. So now we'll move on to uh, the droids. Now the, the design of the C-3PO for me is, is where the uh, detail mentioned previously really really becomes evident. You can see around his waistline all the wires that are exposed on the movies and TV shows. Even gone to the extent of a different colour leg. Lack of a red arm shows uh, which era he's from. And the whole of the, uh, the droid outfit. It's very, you can see there's quite a lot of detail going on there. With back and legs. Even on the back of his, of his noggin. It's all very good. Um, you can see where, again, the pieces will be clipping on and off on a, a full size Mr. Potato Head. Overall, pretty nice. Let's take a quick look at R2. Now I do appreciate the, uh, the uniqueness of the R2 design with um, the leg, traditional legs obviously not being an option. Got his uh, three legs on there. See there's a little bit of detail on the panelling at the back. Kind of struts on his legs there. Even the um, design here where his uh, tools and stuff pop out. So you can see where it would, would separate as a Mr. Potato Head. You can see the bit like lower the skin tone poking through. I do really like the, uh, the design of the um, the head there. It's got the more standard Mr. Potato eyes and, and nose on there to make him fit with the um, overall design. Other than that, that's all there is to really see. Now, if you had pitched me a key ring based on a toy, which in itself was being a representation of a popular character pasted onto another toy, I would have been pretty dismissive, but with all of these key rings, uh, the Star Wars and the Marvel ones, I think the representations of the characters have overall been pretty good. There have uh, been some weak points in, in both of my videos so far, but I think overall they're pretty great. Uh, they are, they seem very, very sturdy and should wear well over time and um, should be great for any collector or even if you're gonna, gonna actively use them if you're a, a fan of one particular character. If there's anything else you do wanna know, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Take care.